Here we are in beautiful King Lake, north of Melbourne, the King Lake National Park, just a hop, just giving a jump away and behind me, the reason why we're here, the latest ever new all road caravan. Any new ever new is a big deal. They've been building caravans since 1963, all by the same family, and they don't pop up with new caravans, they evolve one caravan from another, usually with feedback from the owners who travel around Australia and the many live in their avenues. They're a serious, long-term, all-road caravan. In a recent survey, Avenue had one of the highest retention rates of any caravan built in Australia. That means the majority of the seven to 8,000 Avenues built since 1963 are still circulating around Australia, and they go on all sorts of roads, good bitumen roads and this sort of road. They're built for it. All Avenues are seriously tough caravans. It's in their DNA. But this particular, the latest model 1000 IS, has been built in an all-road spec, which means it fears no major road in Australia. Look at the chassis underneath. It's fully 300 millimetres high by 50 millimetres thick at its uh, thickest point here. A massive A-frame, a massive chassis. Cruisemaster XT trailing arm independent coil spring suspension. Serious off-road wheels and tyres. Shielded underneath everything from the 395 litre water tanks to the waste pipe to the water tap on the A-frame, shielded and protected from stones. They say you can't take it with you, but whoever came up with that expression never encountered this Avenue 1000 IS caravan. No fewer than six external storage compartments, a big galvanised toolbox on the A-frame for all the dirty stuff, hoses and the like, galvanised lined full tunnel boot up here on the front, another hatch above, more storage here behind me, uh, in the rear, a vented generator hatch and above that another big storage hatch for chairs and things like that. So with its payload of 700 kilograms, which is nearly twice the industry average of 400 kilograms for a tandem axle caravan, it means you could take everything you need for an extended trip into uh, remote parts of Australia, whether it's food, provisions, water, clothing, toys, whatever. It's all yours and you can take it with you. When people think Avenue, they usually think old world timberline caravans, uh, something of the past. But this new 1000 IS breaks the mould with new furniture, high gloss acrylic, plywood and very small one millimetre gaps between the cupboards. This actually means they've fitted more cupboards into this caravan than they would in a conventional timber framed cupboard caravan. They look beautiful. The white gloss gives it a much bigger look inside than its 22 foot 6 dimensions uh, would lead you to believe. The transverse bed adds to that, plus this full mirror wall wardrobe behind us accentuates that uh, feeling of space and actually brings the outside in. So it's a very light and airy place and a very pleasant place to be in. Look, this is not a poverty pack caravan. It's nearly $94,000 and it's equipped, as you would expect, with lots of goodies to keep you comfortable off the beaten track for extended periods. The full uh, swift cooktop, oven, griller, of course, that's a standard. 215 litre Waco compressor fridge. It's driven on 12 volts. It's independent of any power source and will keep things really cool no matter how hot the temperature. A front loading washing machine in the ensuite, which is a full ensuite with separate shower and toilet. And you've got other, uh, a range of other conveniences here. Everything from full air conditioning, reverse cycle air conditioning system above me through to an uh, audio system that extends throughout the caravan. It's very well equipped by the standards you would expect for a van of this price. Look, I'm going to be frank, I like this Avenue Caravan. It's built by a company that's been in business in the same family, building them for 52 years. They have a very high integrity, have a very high percentage of their caravan still on Australian roads, with some owners coming back for their fourth or fifth, still refining, looking for their ultimate caravan. So they are built to last, and they do last. Now, this caravan isn't perfect. I've found some things outside, some sharp edges, some bits of uh, glue in a cupboard, some things that I think could be better. But the basic structure of the ca uh, caravan is excellent. It's built for purpose and that purpose is to go where your wanderlust takes you and to get you back again with a caravan in one piece. But you can read even more detail in Caravan World magazine.